tomorrow, the nation will commemorate the 70th anniversary of Victory in Japan Day. All this week, we've featured people from the Northwest who fought out in the Far East until the war officially ended in 1945. Many spent years in Japanese prisoner of war camps. In the last of his special reports, Paul Crone has been to meet a woman from Stockport who was just five when her dad went away to war. He was to return a very different man. When the troops came back from the Far East at the end of World War II, wounded and traumatised by what they'd witnessed and what they'd endured, there was no help, no counselling, no sympathy. Remember, the war in Europe had been over for months. They were the Forgotten Army. Jim Newstead was still fighting for his country thousands of miles away in the Far East, whilst Britain was already beginning to return to normal, following victory in Europe. The Forgotten Army came home virtually unnoticed. The first of the stretcher cases begin to come ashore. The laughing limbless and their comrades who conquer affliction with such wonderful spirit. Jim's daughter Dot was just five when he went off to war and nine years old when he returned from Burma, a virtual stranger. I was actually in bed in the back room uh, within a double bed with my sister and this strange man walked in and stood at the end of the bed and my sister looked at me, oh, who is it? And, and I suddenly recognised him and said, oh, it, it's, it's Dad. <laughs> with no counselling, those who'd been held captive in horrendous conditions by the Japanese or had fought and seen man in humanity to man at its basest struggled to cope. Well, I bled for him at first because I thought, oh, you poor guy. Because you could see sometimes that he was in turmoil. And I didn't know whether he was remembering something that was painful. Uh, or because one or two of his mates were killed quite close to him. And it was obvious that he was suffering. He was twitchy. Um, he couldn't make plans. He, he couldn't uh, uh, he'd, he'd make inappropriate, oh, yes, we'll do that. And he'd say, well, we can't do that because of X. Well, he didn't know about X. You know, he didn't know about rationing, he didn't know about all the sort of problems that faced you in, in the world we've been living in for the last four years. But over the years, Doc rekindled the special relationship with her dad. I mean, he was my best dad after about, what, a couple of years. But uh, it, made, it, made, it was stressful, it was strange, and I think, looking back, it didn't need to be. But then they were just, you were demobbed, you know, what more do you want? The 70th anniversary of VJ Day will be officially observed on Saturday. If you've a moment, spare a thought for those that went through so much so far away from home. And the estimated 110,000 citizens of Hiroshima and Nagasaki who died when the nuclear bombs were dropped, which brought the war to a shocking but decisive end. Paul Crone, ITV News. Another amazing piece from Paul there and a special thank you to the artist Chris Shields from Sale who drew the sketches you saw in Paul's piece. Uh, on to sport now. And